Okay, we're going to take a, another algorithm. This is called Prim's algorithm, and as I commented before, I'm going to call this the build tree algorithm. You build a tree one vertex at a time. You start with a trivial one-point tree. Now, how do you choose that? Well, somebody specifies a root vertex, like vertex number one. Or they say, start with San Francisco. And, and our bank things, you know, you, if one of the places is the corporate headquarters, you, you probably start with that one just to satisfy management. Start with a trivial one-point tree. And then you ask your question, What's the cheapest edge you can add, which simply expands the tree that you have to this point? OK, now watch my hand-waving explanation. At any given moment in time, in this giant graph, you're building a tree. So you have a little tree. See it? Okay. Now, you pick up the edges and ask yourself, do they have one endpoint in what you have built thus far and one endpoint not? If you pick up your next edge and it's over here, reject it for the moment. Not forever, but for the moment. If you pick up an edge and it's got both endpoints right in here, then you get a cycle and you reject it forever. The ones you look for are the ones which have one endpoint in your tree and the other one outside. So you look at this one, and you look at that one, and you look at this one, and you look at that one, and you look at this one, and this one. You look at all the edges that look like that, and you take the cheapest. So, important. You look at this, you take it. You rejected this one because it costs too much. But don't throw it away. You, you might want it later. All right, let's implement Prim's algorithm. OK, I'm going to start. It's going to be on the same picture. I'm going to take a uh, root node as 1. So my initial step, which I haven't pictured, is to say that my first tree is the one-point tree consisting of node 1, vertex 1. So here's node 1. And what I do is I look at all the edges which have one endpoint at 1 and the other one other than 1 and take the cheapest one. There are three edges incident with 1, 54, 47, and 80. And I take 47. Is that clear? First step? OK, you tell me what edge you would take next. What am I hearing? Three to, five. Three to five, everybody agree? Three to five. Okay. What edge do I take next? I heard five to two at a cost of thirty two. Next. Two to four? Cost of 31. Notice we're not taking them in order anymore, are we? You're taking the 32, now we're taking the 31. Next. I heard four to eight, but I don't see it yet. Oh, yes, now I see it. Oh, yeah, four to eight, 29. That's pretty cheap. Next, one to six, one to six. Next, three to seven. Uh, this small example, the two trees are, are identical. As we will see, both approaches give you optimal solutions. It won't necessarily give you the same set of edges. Depends on your coding details. 
is it clear how to implement this algorithm? If I gave you a picture with, I don't know, 10, 12, 15 vertices and 10 minutes time, could you do this for either of the two? Is it clear? 